Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rafael from Extreme RC. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, like us and share. It's gonna help us greatly. Now, today I chose to do a video, um, a quick video. It won't take too long. Uh, just wanna do a comparison between a few different uh, brands that make race buggies. You guys know that I'm a racer and you probably have seen one of my videos before that I race uh, my buggy on a racetrack with some other guys and as you know there is like about 10 different brands and these 10 brands are like the top tier of the buggies in the whole world some are european some japanese some americans and believe it or not america america have some of the best buggies in the market as of right now um definitely doing really well like team associated that i know won the worlds in uh, january in uh, arizona this is a model that i really like I raced with it only for a month and a half before one of my customers wanted to buy my own car, which happens a lot. I just want to show you guys, this car have a saddle pack and it's a pillarboard car. So stable, so easy to build. Everything went together so nice. I enjoyed building it. And in my opinion, it was just a dream of a car. Highly recommended. Uh, the way you should choose a buggy is mainly preference and also taking comparison of uh, parts availability in your in in the nearest shop next to you you want to make sure that the buggy that you buy they have parts for if not it just makes uh, life a little harder and you just need to hold more parts on hand uh, now we're gonna move to lossy the tlr the xc elite this model I was driving for three years with this one started from the first one from the X to the XE Elite and um, I love this car I just drove it for so many years that I wanted to try something new after this TLR I moved to the team associated and when someone bought my team associated I actually moved to the Techno 2.1 I skipped the 2.0, I never driven the 2.0, you know, competitive, I just drove it here and there for my customers, but the 2.1 is a model that I really enjoy driving, it was easy to put together and it's very durable, uh, I have all the parts and I know many shops have all the parts, and by the way all these brands are uh, American brands, in the top, top brands in the market right now and there is few more you know i can name them kyosho makes uh, amazing models um, serpent x-ray mugen hot bodies i don't carry all these models in my shop unfortunately in our area we don't have that much of a demand for um, high-end buggies and there is a lot of second-hand uh, sales going on all in, in all over the united states which is great i don't mind it is um, it just uh, don't make us uh, it, it doesn't make sense to have all the all the models on hand while the margin is about 20% so we don't make much money off of these uh, cars so as much as you can guys support your local hobby shop uh, it just helps us in reinvest in the hobby for y'all you know uh, when we make a little bit more money we put it on a racetrack we put it on a, a newer more clay uh, new pipes don't forget these basic uh, common sense ideas you know some people rather go and race in other places uh, but don't forget to make your garden pretty first before you make other people's garden pretty you know and the garden is the is the racetrack if you didn't get my uh, metaphor so that's it for now now I wanted to show you this uh, high-end cars and I'm just gonna take two more uh, ready to run models and just quick comparison so this is the typhoon to whoever uh, don't know about this model or never seen this model before this is a typhoon typhoon been a, around for like seven eight years i believe arma makes this beautiful model and it was such a successful model that um obviously horizon hobby owns a uh, lossy and they own arma and they decided to make this beautiful model with some billet metals just like the TLR metals these metals don't bend 
which is really important for racing. So the TLR Tune um, is probably one of the best models to get from a ready to run aspect, okay? If you wanna get a model that you don't uh, spend too much time fixing and breaking all the time, at least get this one. The only downfall on this model, and it's a serious downfall, is the servo is not strong enough. This uh, Spectrum servo, the S652, is just not good enough in my opinion. And you'll find out it's just not, not gonna hold up for the pressure. And uh, the radio control that comes with this model is not worth much. Yeah, you're gonna need to change it. So with battery charger, good radio, and change of a servo the first week that you start driving with it, you're gonna be around uh, maybe a thousand to eleven hundred. That's including everything. When you build in a kit like this one, with the radio and just a cheaper kind radio like a Spectrum or the lower Futaba, uh, you're gonna be in uh, probably about 1500. That's two batteries, dual charger, tires and all paint. So keep that in mind. Now, after this uh, Typhoon TLR tune, I will show you a Kyosho ready to run. This one comes with plastic shocks and no sway bars. And it's only a 4S capable, which that's all we need for racing. But you know what, for $400 model, this one at least comes with a very nice radio. Kyosho does make good radios for the ready to run models, I have to say. So if you do get this model for $400 and the Team Lossy one, well, the Tune Lossy, um, it goes for 630 So we got a $230 gap. For $230 gap, you can make this car possibly better by changing the servo and putting sway bars for about $30. Changing the shocks will be the priciest thing, but you get in the shocks that you choose and you can get them from almost any brand. Eight scale shocks will fit almost any car, but Kyosho have, you know, good shocks made out of good metals and um, they're probably around $120. So you're still going to be able to come out a little cheaper than the TLR tuned. The only benefit that you get from the TLR tuned is that you're gonna get all the billet medals. So I will always always choose to go and build me a, a true kit, but for people that doesn't have the budget for that, just think real well before you choose, because you're going to have this model for a few months to a few years. So don't be the guy that buys it and after one week wanna change to a new model. Might as well just buy the new model upfront. And thanks again guys, uh, final thought. I like the ready to run models. They can be race with. You need to be a little more caution. Uh, the more you abuse it, the more damages you're gonna have. So, true final thought will be that the Team Lossy will be the model that uh, people should buy even though you need to change the servo and the, and the radio. Just because the billet metals, that they worth quite a bit of money and they're making the car 10 times plus more durable so team lossy is winning for the for the ready to run models and for the kit cars it's truly your choice it's all about your setup and your driving style and that's it for today thanks again if you guys have any questions or want to find out which exact parts needed for this model or any model uh, to become race worthy uh, leave us a comment on the messages just let us know what information you need and we're gonna definitely deliver it I can find out which parts you need how much it's gonna cost and even if we have it in stock if you want to order it from us so leave us some comments don't forget to subscribe share and like us I appreciate you guys I'll see you again in the next video